We're here with a few little tips for Christmas. Now, I know everybody's worried about spending money and how to get things done a little easier. Well, you can make some really cool Christmas decorations or a gift with just a Christmas bag and a picture frame. So, I'm gonna get right to it here. We're gonna show you how to do this one. And this is a snowman or snow woman, whatever you wanna call her how you want to fix her up and we're going to take this bag and we're going to actually use this frame to put her in so here's what we do you're going to take the bag it's very easy open it up and then to make it easier to cut you are going to take the bottom and on the bottom of this you're going to just peel it apart you want to go kind of slow because sometimes on some of these you're going to need a little extra at the bottom so if you can take it apart very carefully you can use a little extra at the bottom to make it fit your frame because some of the designs will end up disappearing in the very bottom or the very edge of your frame so you want to carefully take that open there we go now i'm going to cut it down one side so that i can get to it real easily so we're going to cut this real quick here and there we go now we have it all opened up here i'm going to lay it down on the countertop and then we're going to take our frame and the cool part about this is when we take the frame that will determine how much of the picture is in the frame because we're going to use it as our guide. So you're going to open it up and take out this part and any other little fillings that are in there. Paper, and this little piece, we're not going to need that today. And then gently take out your glass, lay your frame off to the side. Now take that glass and lay it on top of your bag so that you can determine where you want this to go. I'm going to move that ribbon for just a minute. Now, I'm gonna make sure that I have all of her little bow in there because we're gonna use that too here in a minute. So there we have it. Now, we're going to cut up to it. And there we go. And that'll get us up to that part there. And then we're gonna take this off in order to cut all the way around it and what you're going to do is you're going to use your glass as your guide so when you're cutting around the glass that's going to be that is it's going to be behind the glass so you want to take it hold it very firmly put it on the edge of the table and then get your scissors up there really close now you want to be careful not to get too close to your glass or open your scissors too wide because then you're going to end up shaving your glass and you don't want to do that. So you want to carefully, now we are on the handle there. I'll show y'all how to remove that handle here in a minute. I already know how much of this we're going to need so I'm just kind of going ahead of myself here. But we'll show you how to fix that also here in just a minute. Here we are. We've got this almost done. There we go. Now, we have our little snow person. Let's put this away. And if you can see on here, on this glass, we're going to be able to decorate this and then it's gonna go in the frame. You can either put the decorations under the frame or on top of it. It's not gonna fit right if you put it on in between the picture and the glass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glass, we're gonna put it back in the frame. So here we go, put our glass back in the frame here. Put our picture on top of that. You'll wanna make sure you clean your glass because you're gonna have fingerprints all over it. And that's going to make it look funny. So we'll put our picture back in there. Make sure it fits just right. 
I always like to use this little piece of paper because it makes it fit and flattens it out a little bit. So put everything back in that you took out. If you feel like you need to put that um, piece of border back in, you can do that also. Then clamp it back down. Get your little hooks all in there just right. Sometimes these will have to be pushed down to go in. They're making the frames really cool now to where they, they hold better. So there's our little snow lady or man. We're going to turn it into a girl. So what we're going to do is on this part up here at the top, we are going to take this little thing here. We can either put a snowflake there to dress it up, or we can put this one in the center, and then we can put these on her buttons and create a snow lady. Now you put these on top of the glass and it gives it a, a three-dimensional look, which I really like. I think that's cool. And if you want to turn it into a gentleman's snowman, you can take these little bows, or buttons, whatever you want to call them, take them off, you can put one right there. And now you have a snowman instead of a snow lady. But we're going to do this one because we really like it. And you can take off these little sticky things, and then you don't have to put glue on your on your glass and you can always use this frame for something else. So I'm going to put the little stickies where I want my bows and then we'll place our bows on there. There we go. Whoops, stuck to my finger. Alright, we'll add our other little flowers here. There we go. Now we have a snow lady with little buttons on her. Now you can also take the little lady, and we did this one also. So now you can do it. You can do it however you want. But I would look around in the crafts and in the frame department and see which one you like best. So we have the round one, and then we have the square one. This one sits in my bathroom. Just so you know, it's. I have them all over the place, but uh, they're really cool. I've had a lot of friends request them after they saw that they were made, and uh, so I've made a lot more than I intended to. Now, we're gonna take a break and get a message from our sponsors, and we'll be right back to show you how to use two different Christmas bags to make one picture. So we'll be right back after this message. this time we're going to show you how to take two different designs and make them into one all you have to remember is the color should be the same in both both bags on their design and they should be similar uh, somehow so this one we have a deer well we also found a bottle bag that has two different designs on it and you open that up and you're going to use both sides and before we get started too far, I'm going to show you how to remove these handles without tearing up your bag. Because you're going to have to take those off in order for the, to fit inside the frame. You want to make sure you lay it down really flat. Now, be really careful because this will tear your bag. So you're going to have to lay your hand really firm beside the tab. And then you're going to take it off, kind of like peeling a Band-Aid off with, so it doesn't hurt. And you're going to slowly peel this and let's hope we don't tear this bag. It will make it thin, so you just have to be really careful. All right, there we go. We've gotten the, that off and it didn't hurt the bag, so it's just fine. And then we would put this bag in the center here. So that's what's going to create our design on this one. And then you'll want to take and use your glass to actually figure out how your design is going to lay. And then here is the actual one we, we finished. This one's done. And the glass won't come out of this frame, so I had to take it out to show you. And then once we get done, this is how it's going to fit. And I'm going to use it this way because the glass usually has a glare. So that's how it's going to fit in the frame. So 
So then we just put that back together. And there you go. There's the deer inside the gold frame. This is one of my favorites too. Uh, actually, they all are my favorites. <laughs> I love every one of them. So anyway, there's that one. This can be for somebody that likes to go hunting or um, if you want to give it to a guy. Uh, a lot of ladies hunt, I know. I have a lot of friends that go hunting. So anybody that likes deers in some way, this would be really cool. So now we're going to uh, show you another one. This is going to be a bigger one. This one is one I just love. Here's these big reindeers. Now you can make these as big as you want. However big the bag is, if you can find a frame that it'll work in, well, you can make whatever you want. So we're gonna show you how to do this one. And we are going to find our picture frame, which is right here. I have several here, so. Let's put this one up here. Lay this one down here. All right, so again, we want to open our bag up. Now there's two different sides to the bags. And if you notice, on one side, it'll be just as smooth as it can be, all the way up and down. But on the back side, you know how they fold. And now you're going to have a fold on one side. And that one you don't want to use unless you're going to iron it. You can use it later for a second picture. See how it folds up? That leaves a crease on the back side. So, I use the front side first, because I don't have to iron it. But if you want to use the back side, just get your iron out and press it real good, and it, and it usually looks just fine. So now we've got to worry about these two holes. And what are you going to do with the holes? Well, there's a couple of things we can do. First of all, let's get our bag open here, because we want to uh, get that all done. And then we'll peel it like we did the other one, get it open, okay, almost done, we've got a couple other things to show you too on how to decorate inexpensively, but it's very pretty. Looks really nice and uh, doesn't take but a few seconds to get it done. Goodness, I think they used half the glue gun on this one. All right, so there we go. We're going to cut up the side here. We're going to let this fall over there. All right, that has that one out of the way. Now we take our frame and we want to take it out just like we did the other one, and lift it up, put that over there, pop the glass out carefully, very carefully, lay your frame off to the side, now again, you're going to be careful about how you do this, you want to decide whether you want a lot of snow or a little bit of snow, and then try to pay attention because if you get it too far, now it's not even. This little deer's ear is about a finger away from the edge, and this one is like four fingers away. So you want to try and make sure their little ears, whatever your design is, try to make sure the distance between the edge of the glass and the ears, or whatever it is, is about the same. And then we can make it a lot of snow, or we can make it less snow. So I'm going to just kind of halfway in between. And you see we've missed the two holes here. There are some pictures that we've done that you'll see there are two holes left up there, but we cover them up with, with a decoration so you can't really see them. So again, we are going to use our table to help us do the cutting. So what we'll do is here, let me move this chair real quick. We're going to take our glass and we're going to turn it just a little bit. And then I'm going to use the table to help me cut the glass, cut the paper under the glass. So you'll want scissors that have a little more arch like this or hold them this way and cut so that you don't um, have such a hard time cutting the glass, the paper underneath the glass. So we will 
give this a quick cut here. And then we'll turn the glass again. And once again, we'll hold it up. And we'll use our table to help hold that up. And we'll turn it again. We'll do that all four times. And be sure and keep your glass straight because you don't want to let it slide and then end up with part of your picture missing. So here we go. We got one more cut after this one. And here we go. Last cut. Slide it around and then check before you trim because as you move it, it will slide a little bit. So I'm going to make sure that's right before I finish cutting. And then stay right against your glass and don't stay too close, remember, because it will shave your glass and then you'll have an issue later. There it is. Now, we're going to take our frame again and lay it down. We've got our diggers all situated. Drop that back in. Put your paper in. Make it fit. You'll have a little, a few little places that don't want to fit sometimes. So, I just usually like to press it and get it to, to lay down. There we go. Now, all we need to do is put the back back on it. There we go. There we are. And latch this back down again. Now this one doesn't sit up, but it hangs up. So that's okay. So there you go. Now, is that not cute? <laughs> I, did, I love this one. This is one of my, well, I've got this one hanging up too. So I think this one's really cool. So there you are. There's another way to do it. So now we've got something else to really help you out with your decorations. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do that are inexpensive and easy to do. So We'll be right back after this message from our sponsors, and we'll show you how to do that one too. All right, we're ready to show you how to decorate inexpensively, but very pretty. So here you go. You can go get three vases, three white ones, different heights. I like to use kind of unique looking ones. They're, uh, they're all made a little differently. So you can either set them this way or you can put them in threes. This I like them this way. This is the way I usually do it. You can do it however you want. You can do it one or two or three or six or eight, whatever. But it's just kind of neat if you just set them there. And then you can take ornaments. Now this ornament's a little bigger so it'll go on the largest vase. And then I use Try to use different designs, not, not all three the same ornaments. This one has a little gold in it, and then this one has a little indent in it. So there you are. There's your centerpiece for your table, or it can be, you know, it can be on a coffee table. It can be in the center of your dining room table, however you want to do it. But uh, if you want just one, well, you can use just one and set it somewhere. But uh, like I said, I like the three together. I don't know why, but uh, that's... That's the way I like to do them, is just three in it together. So there's your last little tip for decorating that way. And so now I'm going to show you some of the some of the designs we did and actually added to the picture so that it had a three-dimensional look. You know, earlier when we talked about sometimes when you decorate you'll have those two little holes left from the ribbon. Well that doesn't matter. You can get name tags, and this is a name tag. And it'll actually peel off and there you go so now we have just our our Christmas bag inside the frame 
but I want to cover up those two holes and I left them because of the design. I wanted the design further down in the picture frame so I had to leave those and then I went and got um, a name tag in the Christmas bag department. They're hanging up on a, on a rod there. So you just want to get the name tags that have two. There's usually a backing and a piece that peels off so you want that piece. It has a little sticky on it. And then I just put it to where the corners are right on those two dots, just like that. So then there we have it. And it's all done. So now I have that one made. Pretty cool. Now this one is my big snowman. This one I really like. So this little guy, well he's not little, he's pretty big. We took a bow and we put it on the outside of the frame which gave us the design and we can even take this little guy and there are snowflakes on the picture frame we can take some of these little glittery ones and we can add those to the glass like so and we can put them everywhere we can even put them places they're not and uh, kind of dress up the frame and give it a three-dimensional look and I don't know if you can put too many of these on there. I'm sure you could, so I better quit. <laughs> but um, there's a snowflake kind of sticking out there, so we'll put one there. So there you go. That's, uh, that's how you can do that one. And I like it without the snowflakes. with just the bow. So he's pretty cool. So there you have it. You can make whatever you want, however you want it. Just go get your bags. And remember to open them up first and then make sure you keep them very flat in order to cut around them and use the edge of your table. Pull your glass over and cut up the edge of the glass all the way around and keep turning it. But check it before you cut it every time you turn it so that you make sure you keep your glass even. And uh, anyway, those are some easy ways to make decorations for your house or if you're on a strict budget make them for a friend for Christmas and I'm gonna tell you they they just look wonderful um, even this little guy I used I used this frame for him he's uh he's really cool he's got uh, the same color brown as his hat but it's a very decorative frame and it makes him look really really nice and you know they can use the frame for something else later they don't have to keep it with the snowman in it or the whatever Christmas decoration you have so I just really love them and like I said I even told my friends I said you know they're not very expensive um, it's just a Christmas bag and they still they still wanted them so I have to say I greatly appreciate some of you paying more than what they're worth <laughs> but they loved them so much they they really wanted one so anyway if you want to do that and you not sure how to do it you can always give us a call and we'll walk you through it or you can watch this video again and, and kind of get an idea how to do them so we greatly appreciate our sponsors and we especially thank you for watching.